Auto actions are something that a lot of software has that lets you record a series of actions that you do. You may be something that you do a lot that requires a lot of steps and you don't want to go through every step every time. So these are kind of a convenience that you should probably explore, especially if you're doing something over and over. So we have some, if we right next to this history tab, we have the auto action tab. If we click on that, we see we actually come with a series of kind of preset auto actions that you may want to use, but we're going to also be able to create our own. So let's just show you first how one of these works. I'll uh, select something and with this selection, some of them have to have certain conditions for them to work. And this one requires a selection, the expand the selection by five pixels and fill. So to use this, I'm just going to click on it. And if you click the arrow, you can actually see what it does. It expands the selected area, it fills it, and then it deselects. So when it's highlighted, you just press play and it does, does what it says. It expanded by five, it filled it, and then it deselected. So let's say we have an action that we want to do. I'll show you one, for example, that I do fairly regularly. If I have, uh, actually, I'll just clear this. If I have a, a layer that I'm doing my pencils on, I'll often do my pencils with black. And then when I'm done working on them, I'll change that to a, like a blue. And then maybe I'll lower the opacity a little and I'll create a new layer for my inks. So if I want to make all that process one auto action, it's pretty easy to do. So I'm going to take a step back to the initial point where I just have my pencils in black. So to add my auto action, I just go down to this button right here and click it and I give it a name and I'll just call this uh, pencil blue and add ink layer. Not the most elegant name. I'm sure you can come up with something a little better and then just hit enter. And then when we're ready to, once we have it named, we can click on record and start doing what we want to do. So click on record. Okay, so I clicked on record and now I just need to do the same process that it can. So I'm going to make this layer blue. I'm going to lower the opacity. And then I'm going to add a layer and I'll call it ink. When I'm done with that, those are all the actions I wanted. I go back to here and I hit stop. Stop. I may have to double click it. Okay, so now it is done and uh, it has all of that process underneath it. You can see that it changed the layer to ink, I mean the name to ink. It changed the color, it changed the opacity. So now let's, uh, let's go back to our layer and I'm going to undo this all. And let's see if it'll work. I'll go uh, back to the auto action. And instead of doing the process, I'll just click play and see what happens. So it's blue. It looks like it worked. And we have our ink layer and we have a lowered opacity. So everything did work. So that is how you create an auto action in your program.